Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a journaler, journal maker and teacher of journaling courses. In this video, it's the final part to this series where I was making some Daphne's Diary journals from start to finish. And so it's been quite a journey making the covers, choosing pages from the magazine, cutting our writing pages, putting it all together. And now we are at the last stage where we are going to bind the journal and it actually turns into a proper journal. <laughs> this is always exciting uh, when it all comes together. So what I do is I just center the pages in the middle of the cover and I use the long bobby pins to keep them all held together. Some people use paper clips or bulldog clips and I specifically bought a pack of the long bobby pins just for this journal making business so <laughs> I have never used those pins for, for my hair um, but I yeah specifically got them for this so they've come in handy and if the journal is like really bulky I will include some at the top so here I just put them at the bottom but yeah I will include them at the top too just to make sure the pages are held extra securely uh, and basically binding is really simple and quick. You'll see that how quick it is in this video, blink and you miss it almost kind of thing. Um, it looks intimidating and scary when you first see it, but really, really easy. You just poke a hole with an awl through the middle, poke your needle through. I use embroidery thread and a tapestry needle. And then you poke a hole at the bottom and the top and you go through either the bottom or the top hole, it doesn't matter. I just naturally go through the bottom one, poke it back through the center hole, make sure you miss the thread. So I pull the thread down so that it won't catch on the needle. And then you go through the top hole. And then I just do a triple knot just to be safe. I used to only do a double knot, but somewhere along the line, I got a bit paranoid <laughs> and I started doing triple knots just to be sure. Um, and then I, yeah, cut it off. You can leave them long if you want. You can cut them shorter if you want. You can tie little sequins or beads to the bottom of them if you want as well. And of course, you could go the opposite way. So instead of poking the hole from the inside to the outside of the cover, you could go from the outside of the cover to the inside of the journal. And all that does is makes your threads that you tie off, they will appear on the outside of the journal. So if you want that look, you can have some beads hanging from the spine of the journal from those threads if you want. Of course, you can do other ways of binding. You could, if you want, get a stapler, an extra long stapler. And my very first journals that I tried, um, one of them anyway, I tried with staples. Um, but I prefer this method, so I stopped using staples. Little Luna wants to come say hello. <laughs> Little kitty cat. Um, and yeah, three hole pamphlet stitch. Some people ask me, is there any other stitch that I want to try? Any other binding method? Uh, no, I just went, once I find a thing that I like and that works for me, I feel no need to change it up or experiment with anything else. Um, I love three hole pamphlet stitch. So um, that's what I use uh, all the time. <laughs> but you could do five hole pamphlet stitch I wonder if there's four hole pamphlet stitch there's all different types of stitching all different ways to bind you can do twine binding I have actually tried twine binding in the past as well um or flowish style binding so that's where the pages can kind of slip out you can add pages or take pages out um, I'm not a fan of that method because I like my pages really securely tied in and I like my binding quite tight. I know some like doing looser binding, but I pull mine quite tight. I want my pages to not move as much as possible. Like a little bit of movement, that's fine. But yeah, I don't want to be able to take pages out and, and all that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, twine binding, flowish style journals, they're fun to make too every now and then. Um, and maybe that's what you want to do all the time. That, that could be your thing is just the twine binding journal if you like that style. But yeah, I like my pages secure. I like them not being able to move too much. And yeah, I'm really happy with the three hole pamphlet stitch like this. And yeah, I hope that you give it a go if you haven't tried it before because it is 
really quick, really easy. Um, as you can see here in this video, it doesn't take too long at all to do two journals. And yeah, once you try it that first time, you realize how easy it is. Um, I put it off for years. I was like always wanting to make my own journals, but I never did because the binding looks so terrifying. But the very first time I bound a journal, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so easy. <laughs> um, so give it a go. Give it a go. I thought like it would take me a, a few goes at it, like, like maybe 10, 20 goes before I could figure it out. But after that first time, I was like sold. I'm like, yes, I'm never going to other binding methods now that I've tried this. Now that I know how quick and easy it is. So yeah, give it a go. And I hope you enjoyed this series for following along. And I'll show the final flip through in the next video or one of the next videos. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Thank Bye, you guys. to my beautiful patrons who supported me in February. Thank you. Thank you so much. I could not do this without you. It really means the absolute world to me. And if you would like to become one of my patrons supporting my channel and Willowbound Journals, uh, you can do that. The link is down below in the description box. That's where you get access to more videos, behind the scenes looks, personal updates, first access to my journals, printables. If you're a Ruby patron or higher, you get every single digital kit from my Etsy plus one new one every month. And you can also look in the descri description box below for links to my Instagram, Facebook group, um, uh, journal courses that I run and all the details are down there. If you'd like to contact me, you can do that with my email down below as well. And may you journal your life because your stories matter.